<laughs> and that is said and said by Harry Songs. And of course, he is now joining Oliver and I in the studio. I am so excited, and you should be too, because we have a lot to discuss today. Harry, thank you so much for being thank here. You. Thank, thank you. Thank you for, you for having me. Thank you. First thank of all, you look really good. So okay. I actually want to know who styled you and who you're wearing. Because I like this me. outfit. I'm not always good with this. Who styled you and who's oh, you style yourself? Wearing. Yes, I just go to my wardrobe and pick and pick and put together. Nice. Nice. Yes. That's the way to be. As far as I'm comfortable with it, that's my fashion. All right. Your song we just played now, Salen, a very interesting one. Yeah. And I think if I can interpret the lyrics, it's talking about gossip. Right? Yes, gossip. Everything that was happening at that time. We had the, sh we had the concert. That was when we had the Kingmaker concert in Warri, Warri City Stadium. So we're busy with putting the show together. And after, off, there was no single out. So after the show, I thought about um, what to do to just get us in now, 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 attention and money. It was business for me. So I thought about putting everything that was going on in the industry together in one melody and how money I ever got. So let's and that was basically talking about yes. all the gossip that's been happening. So yes. in that light, yes. what would you say are some of the most hilarious gossip? You know, what are some of the, the worst things you've heard about you really? About me? Oh, I don't know a lot, a lot, most especially on social media, a lot about when people comment and um, maybe about properties, sometimes about um, me and my ex label mates, um, many, many things. And what, what would you say is the funniest thing you've heard about yourself online or rather seen about yourself online? Um, funniest thing. Um, first of all, I am. I love to serve. I was built to serve, you know. So I appreciate when I have the opportunity to serve. Um, Kingmaker is is for service. Kingmaker is to build, is to make, is to. Um, it's basically for humanity. Okay, so, so I appreciate the fact that I'm giving when I'm giving the opportunity to build, to serve, to also create. You know, when they say, but when we have differences, when we had differences on. One of the comments that was very hot to me was, he's an ingrate, he's an ingrate, he's an ingrate. You know, most, most times, the, the fans don't even have details of what's going on. They don't even really know you. And they just jump into conclusions. jump into conclusions. Let's talk about how these things make you feel. Because the truth is, yes. everybody says, oh, when you see these comments, ignore, ignore. But they forget that you're human you're as well. Human. So when you see negative comments on yes. social media, yes. how does it make you feel and how do you handle it? Um, sincerely... Um, I yes, we encourage a lot of people to say, don't let these things trouble you. Um, these people are so 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 so. These people are like this. They're not up to this standard. You cannot do this. You must be focused. But they they get to us. They affect us. They affect our day work. Absolutely. Yes. They and it these has, words. Mm. These are words. The words are very powerful. Mm. When you when you work very hard, you know what it takes. What it is to. To, to record songs. So you go to the studio, you're trying to create songs. You record, sometimes we record like 10, 20 songs before you get one good one that is a single to put out. Mm. And when that one is certified, that's when the rework starts. Mm. You do photo shoot because of that song. You have, to do, you have to do press releases, you have to do a lot will go on, millions will go on. The team will work. People are working their ass out. Some will not sleep. And when it's out, you have some people say, shit, they will say, ah, this is not working. That one is not working. You are just sitting there with just one megabyte and one small phone. Mm. So it's, it's, we should mind these things because they've destroyed and discouraged a lot of people. Mm. Just these words. Absolutely. Words have a lot of power. Probably yes. the most power does lie in words. Now, yes. I want to ask you about something that we've seen online of recent, and I want you okay. to tell me whether it's true or false, and the okay. conversation will flow from there. And now, about a month ago, a lot of your fans and a lot of people in the industry were worried. I was certainly worried. Olive was worried, too, yeah. when reports came out with regards to your mental health and some battles with depression. Yes. Now, first of all, I wanted to ask if those reports were true or whether those reports were rumors before I continue. Okay, good true okay so let's talk about mental health i think it's a very important discussion to have and i love it when we have people in the industry at the forefront of those discussions mm -hmm. how have you battled with depression oh okay um i was i was i was i was trying i was going through stuff and trying to put myself together and i was trying to fight it alone um yes i have people around me you know well come on i'm i am i am in the forefront 
I'm the leader, and sometimes we just try to to handle these things ourselves, you know. So, but I got my head just got full. I just couldn't handle it, you know. So, but I've got help, and I'm good. I'm back to business. When you say you got help, did you go for counseling or yes, therapy? Yes, yeah, I got I got a therapy. Okay. A therapist that. So, what was it before now that made you not? What, what was it that made you want to fight it alone? Usually, you know, they would ask you to get help. Was it because you were a celebrity and you were afraid of what people would say? What would you say were some of the reasons why you just wanted to deal with it by yourself without any external interference? You, you know, most times it's, 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 it's perception. You know, and a lot of people um, that go through a lot of stuff are scared of saying, this is what it, what it is right now. Because they know that... Um, 90% of the people out there will not understand, they will understand this, you know, and it will, sometimes it will not end well, and they will still go back to really fight it themselves. The truth of the matter is, at the end of the whole thing, I fought it myself. Mm. I have to just be alone and talk to myself, and this is what it is, that is what it is, that, that is this, and I have to do this, I have to do that, you know, because you can't count on people that are just commenting on social media. You can't go, what if you even did, me putting it out, mm. helped other people to speak out? Help other people to come out and say, oh, these things they affect me too. That's also how they go, that's how they go. I have handled thousands of cases since after that time. Okay. Yeah. Now we'll come back to still speak some more. Now this conversation is very important because just last week, we celebrated World Mental Health Day. And here on Hello Nigeria, we constantly speak about the need for people to speak up and not to shut up because you are definitely not alone. But we'll go on a very quick break. When we come back, Harry Songs will still be rest. Be with us in the studio. Please don't go away. We are back. That was a very quick break with Harry Song, Selense. And we're back to still speak some more about the conversation we had earlier. You know, okay. you had shared your journey with depression and having gotten help. So yeah. what is the way forward now for you? Are you, do you plan to leverage on this, you know, do a campaign? Because you were able to encourage several other people who had kept their mouth shut to so yeah. speak up and reach out for help. Yes. Um, me, I have moved on already because um, a week after that time, we had the first, the first gig already. And we went to perform. And it was like one of my greatest ones because the energy, the energy was crazy. My manager was surprised. Like, somebody did make you very calm down. The energy was, was mad. But the thing is, I'm, I'm also trying to put a platform together to also help people. And we have, we have great... Um, um, great people that are in this country that can um, handle cases like that. When I, when I had my sessions with the therapist, I, she, she's a fantastic person, you know, and I've met several other people like that. Um, there are other people that are also going through uh, certain things that just need to speak out. Speak out. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to put a platform to handle that. I might not have the time to want to run that because of my other businesses and as I song, as my music, as I do, but I will also uh, invest in that to help other people. Brilliant. That's um, yeah. that's very good news to hear. Thank now, you. often at times people don't realize that they're depressed when they are, and yeah. sometimes it takes other people letting you know that they think you have a problem before you accept it for yourself. Yes. What Thank were you. your symptoms, and did you realize that you were depressed for yourself, or did it take people around you bringing it to your attention? No, no, no. no. I, I I realized that um, something was just was just wrong. Was not going going well, you know, and. I was just, it was just like I was, I was, I was, um, I was, I, I'm, I'm, I'm being celebrated and people around me are excited. Everything is just going on well. There's money, there's good house, there's cars. But something is not just going okay with me. It was about me. It was not about everything that was around me. So I, I'm glad you really mentioned this because it's for people to know that sometimes everything can be okay on the outside. Yes. But it's not just okay on the inside. And it's mm. not a function of how much you have. You could have all the money in the world and still yes. be depressed. So I'm, I'm really glad that you shared It's beautiful. That. Somebody came to my house. One of, the, one of my business partners came to my house and was, and was you know, he was very concerned. He was like, oh, what's up? He was looking around and said, Papa. He was asking questions. Food did this house? I said, yes, this food. I said, take me to your kitchen. I took him to the kitchen. He was talking to the cook. Um, I wonder what do you have? The cook said, what do you want? You know, he said, okay, I want rice, I want this, I want that. Put this, okay. Just give me some minutes, I'll put something together for you. And I was like, he went, let's go to your garage. We got outside, he was checking things. He said, oh, what's going on? Look at your house, look at your cars. Look at, you are good. What's depressing you? I said, it's not about these things that you can see. It's not, it's, not, it's not everything that you can see. But it's not about these things that you can see. 
Yeah. Now, so what it boils to the, the true happiness is it's not about the the couch, the very beautiful couch, the beautiful house, the cars, the plenty of money. You understand? Mm -hmm. The the bigger you get, the more responsibilities. The more, most especially for us, that's always in the eyes of the people. You know, they're, they're looking up to you, you know, 100%. There's, there are some certain things where we need to try to balance. Don't forget, we have blood, we have emotions, we are, we are human beings, you know, so. But the good news is, Harry's back, we're good, we're back to business. Okay. Yes. Now, let's, let's look at, if you could, if there could be one thing okay. that you could change about the mindset of your fans, your followers. If there is one thing you wish they knew about you, what yes. would it be? Love. They should know, they should understand that I love them. They should learn to reciprocate that and also learn to share it within themselves. Love. A lot of, I discovered, a lot, some of the things that go on in my timeline uh, are far, far different uh, to what goes on in my DM. They are, they are real when they come to my DM. They speak to me heart to heart. To heart. They talk to me about, well, this is what this thing is. That is what that thing is. So sometimes I can't really give them my number. So I give them the management's number and I can talk to them via that line. So they, they, they open up to me, I know what is going on and try to solve one or two cases. So they should learn to love because sometimes when they come out and post some certain things and they are, they are followers. So they are moved by what they see. Mm. They are, they are moved by what they see. They are moved that this is what social media is about. They have the wrong perspective about what social media is supposed to be for. Mm. You know, so it affects them sometimes. So I try to educate them to be as real as they can be because that is what will make them either live long, live well, and live right. Okay. Yeah. Okay, interesting. Now, love is definitely a factor that we all need more of in this world. Yeah. But let's speak about your current projects and what you're currently working on. Working Tell us on. all about it. Oh my God, this is this is very good for me. Um, we dropped Tequiro after Celeste. We dropped Tequiro. Oh, by the way, we played Tequiro last week on World Fantastic. Spanish Day. Yes, amazing. fantastic. <laughs> so, dropped Tequiro, and they gave me they gave me one last one last chance. They said because we have three other artists on the uh, the platform that we're going to unveil December. Yeah, to start their project on, uh, I think, uh, the 1st of January. So they gave me just one song to drop to wrap up the air. So I have just one more song. One more just, song. Just one more song. When are we expecting that? That one will drop next week, Thursday. It's called Report Card. I can't wait. My blood is hot. It's mm. called what? Report, Report Card. Report Card. Uh, why do I think it's a politically inclined song? Is no, it? No, it's not. It's, it's just Report Card. You have gone to school. Come back. You have, you have, you have returned. You finish school, you report card. Okay. You have been working. At the end of the month, they will pay you your report card. All yeah. right. Whatever the hustle is. Your report card will come. I'm really your excited and I can't wait to see us. But very yeah. quickly, okay. I know you've had a lot of drama with your former label. What is the mm -hmm. current situation? How's your relationship now? Um, I don't think about that. They, are they good where they are? Okay, me, I'm good. Okay. That's good. That's yes. good. And thank you for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow. But from me to you, with love. Take care. Take care. Take care. I love you. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> to enjoy more of this, our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.